to me, I started the drill rap in Detroit. That's how I feel because I was the first nigga doing it. Before yeah, yeah, Jordan, you go look at YouTube, bro. Like, RT and the band crew's beefing. <laughs> yeah, he an op though. Damn, we ain't fuck with him. He cool. I ain't gonna say he just like, you know, we done had talks. Niggas done had sit downs. Niggas, niggas trying to bring shit to a closure, but that ain't my side of town. Like, he across the lights. That ain't a nigga, you know. Right. I ain't gonna say fuck or no shit like that, but that ain't a nigga. You'll never catch him listening to his music or no shit like that. I, I dig that. And uh, my last question was, what what did the Doughboys mean to you? Which one? Like, to y'all Air Force rap. Was y'all really inspired and motivated by that? Well, my generation, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to be all the way 100 with you. I can't say Doughboys with the S. Coming up, the only one of them niggas I seen Really not get hammed and nothing happened to was payroll. The rest of the niggas was victims, bro. And B Smith wasn't. So you had B Smith, that's the light skin one I think they got indicted. And then you had payroll. I ain't never heard no crazy shit happen to them. The rest of them niggas, victims, man. When I when I was coming up, H and I C was like it was horrible for niggas. Like they were snatching them niggas like 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 that's what I'm saying. My generation of the dope boys was them getting robbed at the parties, niggas snatching their glasses. They was the come up. They had everything. They had all the shit hood niggas didn't have. They had families that had money, dope money. So they was the come up. Now the only nigga like I'm telling you, this is first hand knowledge. I know this first hand because I done seen niggas try to get down on these niggas. I done seen niggas get down on these niggas. I done seen them niggas fuck niggas up trying to get down on them. Yes, I have. I'm not going to just say they always got eight. But I've never seen nothing happen to Payroll or B. Smith. Payroll always kept that bitch in his hood, idolized him like a king. I give him that. Fink will treat Payroll like a king. He's untouchable over there. Can he die over there? Yes, no man is untouchable under God's wing. But I'm saying untouchable as far as the politics. You cannot call over there and say Payroll did shit wrong. They going to the furthest extent as arms reach can go for Payroll. It, I see it, my nigga 100%. Kid really from the suburbs. Kid hooped in the hood. I'm clear that the kid is not from our hood. Kid, people's lived on Sussex. It's first-hand knowledge, too. He is not from the hood. He is not a nigga like, damn, we about to go hoop with the dope boy. He was a hooping-ass nigga. When niggas burn the rims out, boom. Like, when it's like hood versus hood, like I'm telling you, used to have hood versus hood basketball games. Niggas get their best niggas. He was a nigga they'd go grab type shit. As far as on the block, no, they had Cookie, Manny. You got too many niggas from over there in his hood that you can name before you say kid. Nah. Putting them niggas on, all that, yeah, he put yeah, yeah in them on, Jordan. Bro. That really was payroll in my eyes. Payroll and Jerry. 